Former federal prosecutor Katie Cherkasky joins me now. Katie, do you think Diddy's going to get subpoenaed individually pretty soon? I think the walls are absolutely closing in. This is a full scale, not just interstate, but international investigation. So clearly it's been coordinated for some time. The subpoenas for his flight records and bank records specifically named him. So he hasn't been given a target letter yet. Typically that will come closer to when a grand jury and indictment decision would be pending. But I would anticipate they're on the, the road down that path. So it does seem to be a sex trafficking investigation if you look at all of the subpoenas going out to these chartered flights, even possibly commercial airlines. Tell us about these witnesses. I mean, you heard from a former bodyguard. He's willing to testify. Oh, absolutely. There's a lot of people in his very inner circle who have turned on him. Now, the question is whether the feds can corroborate their statements. Of course, his defense team is going to attack them for having motives to lie, making a money grab. But clearly, when you have so many people from so many different areas of his life and not necessarily any evidence of collusion between them, that starts to become a very weak defense. So you heard the former bodyguard say that Diddy was a snitch. He was talking to the FBI. He was a confidential informant. Does that stack up to you when you read about all of these allegations that he was basically untouchable and had local law enforcement in his back pocket? Well, it does seem like the feds are late to this party. It seems like it's been known for a very long time what Diddy was involved in and what types of criminal allegations have been floating out there for years. So it wouldn't surprise me if he may have been used as an informant in some particular cases in the past. I don't know if that would have gotten him protection from all of these other allegations. But informants have gone down all the time. I mean, even if you're working for the cops, you're not immune from being turned on by, by them at some point in the future. So the, both can be true at the same time. And you're also hearing about these CEOs of these record labels. I mean, these are guys that are at the highest level of the recording industry. And they're alleged to have sponsored these parties filled with underage girls, laced drinks. Everything was videotaped. We're not hearing a lot about their names, but this has to probably be scaring the heck out of the entire music industry. Absolutely. There have been attempts to get all of the footage, all of these records. They've, we don't even know who they've interviewed up to this point. And it kind of strikes me as interesting that while we've been talking a lot about the racketeering cases or alleged racketeering cases against Trump and those defendants, this actually sounds like a legitimate racketeering case if what these people are saying are true. Yeah, and these RICO charges, that's exactly what they're looking into. All right. It's going to be crazy next week, Katie. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.